students, how are you all? I'm Chiguta Shah here. So today we'll be looking at uh, water become more dense. So this is falls under uh, unit density. So we're going to continue our lesson today. It's a very simple lesson. I hope you are ready to continue. Okay, student, come, let's have a look at this. Okay, student, so let's read the dialogue first. Oh, it looks like the gra grape is more dense than water. Can this grape float on the surface of the water? So, they are talking. As we know, grape, uh, grapefruit are more denser than water. So, it will sink. So, they are planning how to make this uh, grape uh, to float on the surface of the water. So let's see. The grape will float when the water becomes more dense. How can that happen? So as we know, if uh, an object is denser than water, it will sink. And if it's less dense than water, it will float. So now, they have to make sure that water is denser than the grape. But how are they going to do? Let's see. So students, when salt is dissolved in water, the water become more dense. Therefore, the grape that sank before can now float. So water becomes more dense when salt is added to it. So students, if, uh, to make a, so, uh, a water, the water to become more dense, they, eat, they add in salt. So, the more the salt they, they add in, the water becomes more denser. So, now we can know that now the water is more dense than the grapefruit, which makes the grapefruit to float because water is more dense than the grape. Or in other words, grape is less dense than the water. Okay, students, now let's see. What will happen if sugar is added to the water? Okay, now, you can carry out this experiment, this simple experiment. It is uh, present in your textbook. You can check in your textbook, okay? So, for that, you have to uh, make sure uh, prepare a beaker. If you don't have a beaker, and I know now it's a pandemic time, you're all in the house. So, you can uh, take a clear, transparent Tupperware. Okay, a spatula, you can replace the spatula with a spoon, a cutter, okay. Uh, when you are using this cutter, make sure your parents are with you. Don't use this, don't do this experiment without your parents' supervision, okay. And a carrot, 2 ml of water, 200 ml of water and also sugar. So first, you're going to carve out the shape of a fish from a carrot. So for this, what you're going to do is, you're going to ask help from your parent to for them to cover a fish out of the carrot. Then, you're going to place the fish model and a one spool of sugar in the water and you're going to stir to dissolve all the sugar. Okay, now what you're going to do is, you're going to add more sugar and more sugar and stir Add more sugar and stir until the fish model starts to float. So what you're going to do is, once you got this, you're going to answer these two questions. How many spoonsful of sugar are needed to make the fish model float? And why does the fish model float when, when sugar is added to the water? So students, for this, you have to remember that the more denser the water, the object will gonna float. If the water is less dense, the object gonna sink. For example, from the example we used just now, the grape is denser than the water. So the grape sank, sink onto the uh, water. But once we add salt to the water, the grape floated on the water because the grape is less dense than the water. So the same theory say it's gonna apply here. So make sure you're gonna do, you try this um, simple experiment. I hope you will uh, you hope understand. If you have any question, don't forget to message me. Thank you, students.